Hello YouTube viewers, hello eBay sellers. This is one video in a series of videos I have been making to document the results in eBay. You would expect information to show up in the results in eBay to be accurate and complete and not misleading. I can prove to you much of that is not true and that's the point of this video. The basic point of this video now is I'm going to show you how listings that I'm paying for eBay and are currently active do not show up 100% of the time. And sellers, you're going to want to take note on what I do to perform this test. Very important is that you got to know your browser you're in for your test to make sure the results stay consistent and make your test the same across browsers. Browsers should not interpret what's coming from the eBay servers any differently between each other. Other tests I have done were in Firefox. Now I'm doing tests in Google Chrome. In all tests, I'm using Google for my search engine. I have gone up here into the tools and deleted all cookies eBay. I did this so that I can approach eBay site as a user looking for a product. We're going to look for a product that I am selling, which is a leather phone case for a Motorola phone. Let's go to eBay now. With all cookies deleted, I should appear as a viewer from the outside entering keyword terms for a product I currently have active. We want to look for it. Check my spelling, make sure everything's fine and go. When we get to the pages we need to set certain preferences here. We want to set 200 items per page view so that we can do our search very quickly and we want all the information for the seller to come up that way that's going to give our find command something to look for. Now you can notice here in this area that was blank that the user ID comes up. I do have a product with these four keywords in the title active at this time and I would expect that product to show up in the search so I'm going to bring up the find command and that is control F and in it you can see my user ID new underscore image underscore imports is already in the search window we're going to look for any occurrence on this page by scrolling through the results you can see here where it says in red zero of zero well I know I have this active so I'm going to test it a couple times like that right but okay there's no occurrence of my username on this page over here top left notice there's 865 results found for this product using the keyword terms Motorola leather phone case we gotta check page two to make sure that somewhere in this 865 results I show or don't show up bringing up the find command the find command is brought up in any PC by the control F like in Frank. Scroll through. Okay, and now I'm not on page two. I found from my test that if I'm not on page one or two, I can be guaranteed I'm not going to show up on the rest of the pages neither. That is because my product has such a low dollar value to it and a low shipping price that I am usually up top and what eBay displays in the results when my product shows up. It's a must that you test all pages for that reason. Find command. You can get to the end of a page quickly by hitting the control end. You can get to the back control home. Next page, page four. Find command. Okay. Next page, last page, page five and scrolling through occurrences. No occurrences. So I currently have this listing active using those four key words in the title of that listing and I'm going to prove that to you here in a moment. Now we're going to do another search and test if this is what percentage of the time of the results. Find command, scroll through results. Now you can see my product shows up as should be expected and you can see that the find command actually works. 
what you have to do is also take notes of a couple of uh, things. Here, here's the keywords: Motorola leather phone case. This item is being sold for $1.99, and it costs the buyer shipping. You can see if it was free shipping, it'd be right underneath that dollar value, but there is none there, so it costs the buyer shipping. Things to take note of for what I, I'm going to show you later. We will go and perform the search again. You can hit the search button with the same keyword terms entered in that bar and this is going to be a new search. Notice here that 865 stayed the same. Sometimes it doesn't. We're going to bring up the find command and roll through occurrences on this page. Again, I showed up here. Now, what I have found too is that once you get locked in for a certain type of a search, they place a cookie on the computer and I should show up pretty much 100% of the time now in the search because of the cookie. Okay, I'm not on page one. We're going to go to page two. Find command, scroll through occurrences. I did not show up in this occurrence. Maybe the cookie hasn't been set yet. Going to the end of page. When you use the PC control command you have to click on the page after having clicked up here that way you make the page active that way the control and command works page 3 find command as I said earlier probably if I'm not on page 1 or 2 I probably will not end up in this result next page page 5 make sure that the next button is grayed out going home new test find command scroll through occurrences not here Page two. We have to, even though you're reading it red now, zero zero, we have to scroll through the results again because that could actually have been carried over from the last search, last test, and not on page two, and on page three. I am checking my spelling, I'm checking to make sure I have my user right. Uh, the, the seller ID appearing here on the page because we're getting down to a 25% occurrence of my listing showing and there is something wrong about that. If my listing is not showing 100% of the time, obviously I'm losing sales. Find command, scroll through occurrences. I might hit the up and down but arrows a couple times just to make absolutely sure. End of page, control N next page page four control find not here last page page five find command looking for my username and not here oh this is getting pretty pretty shallow here this is getting pretty shallow let's do this test again and there I am so you can see now that the find command works and uh, you can see that your listings are not going to show up 100% of the time and that's not all listings these are listings that are going to be listings like mine which are obsolete products and uh, lower value products and um, the kind of products that ain't going to give eBay their final value fee If you had noticed in the search while we're doing this, these products here at the top, they didn't change. They were always the same. But somewhere down here, lower on the page, where my product shows up, somewhere down here, there are listings being omitted in the new search results. A lot of that's my opinion, but that's also from my observations. So take note, and when you make your videos, place them next to mine on YouTube, and we can start to develop a large 
example of test to see how extensive this type of information throttling is occurring from eBay. Not only are we getting information throttled, but we're getting information entered that's not correct. For instance, we are now going to go over here to the left column down to the grayed out area of so show only and completed listings. Click on that. You'll recognize your incompleted listings when the dollar values are red and green. We're going to look for a product that I did sell and again in a moment I'll take you into my account and prove to you that I have this item sold in the last couple of days and that it is active and that this information is not showing up in the completed listings which means that our completed listings are invalid to do an analysis by. You can go out there and you can price wholesale and liquidated products that usually show up in this type of a problem with the search in eBay. You get the wrong dollar figure. You, you, you don't get a proper analysis on the, the true market picture of this product. So if you do want to involve yourself with a liquidated or a wholesale product, product stick to one lot for a test unless you're absolutely sure that product is going to bust out because you'll get stuck in a product that doesn't move quickly doesn't bring you a dollar return like you thought it would and that's because you can't get a complete picture from the completed listings because the information's not all there or it's been altered and in the next test I'm going to show you that it's altered to complete this test we'll bring up the find command my product is not in the completed listings results. So let's do this one more time. We're going to search, test. Move on to page two. Find command. Scroll through results. Oh. I have found that once an item is not showing up in completed listings, last page, page three, that it's never going to show up in completed listings. As whereas with listing results it's going to show up in the completed listings a percentage of the time find command scroll through results in the page grayed out that's it for the results let's go look at another product that I'm so sold here whose only difference in the title is that that last word is cover let's go search this and find command find myself now here I am now here's where you, this this listing here is all wrong I didn't sell this product for two dollars and I didn't sell anything similar to this on May 26 and you're taking note of these things right notice here that the shipping cost the buyer should say free shipping uh, even though I'm looking I don't see free shipping anywhere else okay we'll go into the listing and you'll look at it there and you'll notice that the shipping is going to cost the buyer Motorola leather phone cover are the keywords Motorola leather phone cover keywords two dollars you can see here shipping cost the buyer last four numbers of this item uh, this listing is 0378 and that you should take note of also zero uh, three zero seven eight I must write that. Okay. Let's go into my seller account. Show you some things that'll blow you away. We're going to take a look at my seller's view at my sold items page. You can see here top left that I'm on my sold items page. Okay, here. And the date that that item we just looked at sold was supposed to be May 26th. So we're going to again take notes of a couple of details. This is a quantity item. This is a sales date item. This is where they ordered it and this is when they actually paid for it 
And so we're going to scroll down till we see May 26th in the paid date, which appears now. And the first occurrence of that item being sold with the keywords Motorola leather phone cover was on the 25th. This guy bought 12 of them. Let's take a look at this listing. It has free shipping. $2.50 a piece. And it's available. I will, curl, I, will, I will show you where this item is active. We're going to go back into my sold page and back down here to the 26th one more time. And now there's no other product that's sold with that title in it. Also notice here the last four digits of this listing are 7483 where the listing we looked at with the misinformation in it read 3078. Up here at the top June 3rd was the first test case where I sold this product. This is what that product looked like. Those, mo those terms were Motorola leather foam case. And when we did the completed listing search for that one, it did not show up at all. Those last four numbers on that product, 0877. that product is active and we were looking for that product in the first test. To show you that that product is active we're going to the active listing page. You can see here active listings. We are looking for any title over here that ends in case. There's a night case, but that isn't the one that we're concerned about. Ours was a foam cover. So, here it is. There's the last four digits of that listing number. You can see in the column next to it that I have eight of them available to be sold. They are selling at $1.99. Let's not get that confused with the product whose title ended in cover. We'll go look for that one now, which I'm telling you doesn't exist. So let's go look for cover in every last one of these and a product that fits that description. Okay, here we go. This is the one that I am selling here with the... Motorola phone cover. Again though, notice it's got free shipping, $2.50. Last four numbers are 3959. Does not fit the description of that item we found in the completed listings. Let's continue down a little further. This is a product that I did sell on the 25th with the keywords Motorola leather phone cover. You can see it sold for $2.50 again looking at that product. Last four digits are 7483 as opposed to 3078 which showed up in that listing that was inaccurate. Free shipping, 250 I could go on and on all day about the inaccurate information that's showing up in the completed listings. I want you to do your research into your products and post your video right alongside mine. Thank you for watching.